Pro Open is next. There's Blair Morgan. Came in here one point down to Tucker Hibbert, Pro Open points, but has been very effective in qualifying. And Chris Vinson, former winner here at Valcour, and of course carrying the colors for Skidoo on that Bud Light Skidoo. He wants this one bad. Doing well, Carl Shabitsky. Actually tied for top qualifier honors, this on the heels of winning in the Pro Stock Division last year. And from the second row, Tucker Hibbert mentioned that he's got that one-point lead on Morgan, but his day is a tough one coming from the back of the pack. So as we show you the rest of the lineup in Pro Open, going to be an interesting first couple of laps with Tucker being stuck back in that second row with some other fairly talented racers as well. Tip of the flag is down, the engines are up. Racers are ready. Pro Open is underway. You ride with Nathan Titus. Oh, big jam up in the first corner. Three sleds in trouble. Looks like everybody's okay, though. That's Gerard, that's Kohansky, and one of the Amsoil sleds has gone inverted as well, so tough start for them, obviously. The rest of the field continues on. And look out in front there, it's Carl. Shabitsky, a great start. As I said, he tied with extra for top qualifier. Put that to good use with a great launch. Oh, isn't it neat to see a different color out in front on the first lap? Blair Morgan is now trying to cut his way through the field. We'll look back to and try to find Tucker for you. That's 27 on Dent, then Ekstrom, then Morgan trying to wedge his way through. There is Hibbert, about midway through up to seven. Well, Tucker Hibbert got a reasonable start, sits in seventh place right now. I think he did the smart thing by laying back a little bit in that first corner, letting it settle and starting to pick his lines. And I mentioned Ekstrom. That was actually Tate who had the good start, sits in third. Ekstrom was the rider who went inverted in that incident. Tate battling with Blair Morgan. Another good fight here. That's Carl Alar and our man Tucker Hibbert. And Alar won that battle. Carl Alar is a very tough Canadian racer right here from Quebec. And he's not going to give up easily. And he's making Tucker earn it. And what a great surprise, though, to see Carl Shabitsky out in front. And he's out pretty far. He's got a nice run going. He's had a great opening couple of laps, no question, as we watch Chris Vincent, who was back in the fifth spot right now. And then some of the battling going on behind. There's Tucker, still has not been able to clear a lot. No Vincent coming up into fifth. Tucker still trying to make his way through the field. Kavinsky and Morgan. Oh, no. That was Tate. Tate had a big off out of third spot. That is unfortunate. He had a great run going. So Justin Tate finds problems early. Looks like he may have had a little problem, maybe a little fire on that machine. He was putting some snow down there. It's plenty cold enough that you know the sled wasn't overheating. So perhaps he had a little bit of a, of a fuel spill. Yeah, the temperature here about three degrees below zero. Those skies have cleared and the winds are down for this Pro Open final. One of the complaints we have heard from some of the riders is they like to run a, as light a glove as they can to really be able to feel the throttle and brake. And a few of them have come off their hands in immense amount of pain going completely numb from frostbite. So it's a, it's a real iffy situation. You can see now, Tucker Hibbert has gone around not only a lot, but a dead as well. He's fourth and is closing quickly on Vincent for third. I am surprised, though, that we have not seen Tucker Hibbert comes screaming up through the field faster than he has. Shabitsky is the leader. We'll be back with more. WSA Snowcross is brought to you by Bud Light for the smooth taste that won't fill you up and never lets you down. Make it a Bud Light. And by Skidoo, home of the Skidoo X team. The Pro Open Final, there's the lineup with just six laps to go, and Carl Shabitsky well out in front. He was so strong in qualifying, and Shabitsky's lead right now, further evidence that not only is Shabitsky a great rider, but that Polaris is definitely resurgent in the sport and has built a great sled. And here's the battle for third, Paul. Yeah, Tucker Hibbert is charging on Chris Vincent. They're neck and neck into the corner. Vincent still got him, but Tucker's been carving his way up through the field. That's that double apex first corner, and you can see Hibbert got very squirrely. He's running a different line. He tries to cut oh, by. 
Tucker gets down on the inside, and Tucker gets Vincent, but can he stay there? That's the slide job pass. Let's take another look at it. Vincent was very good through that double apex turn, but you can see he parked, and Hibbert went in wide, cut underneath, and Vincent right there, you can see, shaking his head, frustrated, because he left a little opening. Watch what Tucker does. Outside, cut slow, and while Vincent slides, his track is locked. Tucker's already on the throttle. That gives him the exit momentum. There he goes, and he takes a little piece of ski just to make sure. Long, agonizing moment for Vincent as well because he knows that the problem is there and there's nothing that he can do about it. Carl Javitsky, 96, the Blair is still out in front, but Blair Morgan is running him down. Oh, he is closing in back on board with Titus, getting some of these great shots, but you can hear the Jaws music. I mean, definitely Morgan is on the prowl. Carl Lard is off. Gonna get back on and get going. No factor in the run, though. Javitsky, there's Morgan. Yeah, the oboes are playing. Wonder what it must feel like to be in the lead, knowing you're having a great day, and knowing that Blair Morgan is coming up behind you. And as I've said before, I don't know yet that he's aware unless he's looked back, but these open sleds are noisy enough that when a rider gets right up by you, you hear them and you know they're there. And that plays on the psyche a little bit. Here comes Morgan. Morgan as he pulls alongside. They get into the corner. Shabitsky pulls him. Now into the open again. Now this is where Hibber just made the pass on Vincent. Look at that. And Blair Morgan takes the lead. Same situation we saw in the last lap with Vincent and Tucker Hibbert. And part of that is you take the guy in, you run him in hard, and Vincent did it, Shabitsky did it to a degree. You go in a little hot, you gotta lock the track up to make the turn and you slide it just wide enough that somebody else can cut by underneath. It's a great piece of setup by Morgan. Now it's Morgan, Shabitsky, and Tucker Hibbert with three to go. The question is what can Tucker do? There is Tucker sitting in third. There's Morgan. Pretty good margin Morgan has right now. Over uh, Hibbert, certainly he's quickly opening it up a little bit over Shubitsky. There's Carl. See if we get the reference. There's Hibbert. Morgan leads it. Here comes Shubitsky. Long way back to Shubitsky really now. And a much longer, you just got a glimpse of Tucker Hibbert there. Much longer way back to Tucker. And this is going to be crucial in that points fight. Remember, Morgan came in here with a one-point deficit. Tucker gets a bad series of events that puts him into the LCQ. That puts him back on the start. Now he's trying to fight his way forward. Sitting in third place, he needs more points than that. And each one of the three qualifying round heats you run pays points. Morgan got two wins. That's 10 apiece, so he got 20 points there, then a fifth. Hibbert only had one win at 10 and a fifth and a sixth. The Morgan obviously made up some ground seriously in qualifying. You get 25 points for a win in the final, so this could be a huge turnaround weekend for Blair Morgan in Pro Open. Yeah, during the summer when they're talking this season down, I think many people are going to say the run at Valcour is the one that made the absolute difference in terms of the season and the championship in Pro Open, though. So who knows? There's still a lot of distance to be run. Final lap, though, in this race. Yeah, that's Hibbert. He got alongside Shabitsky. I, I thought it was a lap sled, but Hibbert made up a ton of ground. Something may be wrong with Shabitsky a little bit, because, uh, you know, you expect Morgan perhaps to draw away, but not that fast. Uh, Shabitsky, something's up. And I think Hibbert got him. Blair Morgan may have the advantage of some slower sleds as he works on his final lap. Tucker Hibbert now to second. Shabinsky fading again back to third. There's Tucker. And Morgan takes the win. And the points that go with it. And Tucker Hibbert just ran out of time and distance. There's Tucker Hibbert. You can see just by the time interval, well back from Blair Morgan. Great ride by both, and kudos to Shabitsky as well, who had a very strong run. And you can see with that wind having died down, that, that snow dust just stays in the air. 
<laughs> elated with second place. You gotta love young Tucker. I mean, he realizes a good race is a good race. You don't have to win every one of them. Let's go back and take one more look at that pass. Now, what Tucker did is he took Chris in. Chris breaks, but look how wide he slides. Just enough, and he cut underneath, and right here, Tucker makes sure that he doesn't give Chris a counter move. He takes the ski away. Now, here's a very similar move, same turn. Shabinski goes up higher on the bank. He's on the throttle a little bit more, but Morgan just enough got alongside, and he parked Carl up on top of that soft, fluffy berm, and that just sucks all the momentum right out of your sled. Tucker Hibbert may have been dissatisfied that he got the second from the back. Let's go down to Jerry Bernardo. Well, that's my type of race. High-powered machines, lots of snow dust, working your way through the group. I mean, that was great. Come on. you got to love it. Look at the smile. <laughs> it was great. It was cool. I kind of got stuffed on the start on the outside there, and uh, I just came around the outside uh, on the right side of the track here. I kind of made it work. I found some good lines uh, that no one else is using, so uh, then I was doubling this whole section only over here, so I think I've gained a lot of time. So Blair Morgan takes both Pro Open and Pro Stock here at Valcor. Another great day with WSA Snowcross. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For more, log on to ESPN.com.